In this practice exercise 7.2 range, we're going to write a static method named range and it takes an array of integers as a parameter. So before we keep on reading, oh, it also returns the range of values contained in the array. Before we continue on reading, um, let's make this method. So it's a public static, it's turning an int, it's called range and it accepts an array as its parameter. Now the range of an array is defined to be one more than the difference between its largest and smallest numbers. And we're given an example and then we can show the call and value return for these results here. We can assume that the array contains at least one element, that's a little bit nice and we should not make assumptions about particular elements doesn't matter because what we'll do is code for all of it so again we're assuming their length is at least one so inside of here what we're going to do is we are going to set a minimum and a max value and then we're going to either change these every single time or not and when we're done we are just going to compare them so let's do this int min and it should be equal to arr at the let's do the zeroth index because it has at least one thing in it and we'll have max equal to arr at our zeroth index as well we have a for loop we're going to set it our arbitrary value to the first index a is equal to one a is less than arr dot length and then we are going to have a plus plus inside of here so that is our for loop now this is just to go through all the elements inside of here now in here is where we're going to have our comparison for our minimum and our max and they're going to be very basically identical. If our current minimum is greater than the new element that we are looking at, we, will, we don't want that and we will just set our minimum equal to the new or the current array element. Otherwise, um, what if it's for our, our, our max, right? If, if our max is less than our current array element well we can't have that right because that means that this current element is bigger and if that's the case we're going to set our max equal to our current array element. that'll be it for our for loop now is where we are going to return so if our min is equal to max then we are just going to want to return one um, because if they're equal to each other, I believe, uh, yeah, if the, uh, I forgot to read this part, but if the largest and smallest values are the same, the range is one. I don't think I read that out loud, but so if they're equal to each other, range is one. We're just going to return one. Otherwise, we can just do, we can do a return of our max minus our min and then plus one. Because I definitely read that in the instructions, where it's the difference between large and smallest but one more than that so we can press submit on this and I always forget this last brace I don't understand my problem so let's submit this and pass five out of five tests that's how we would do this self-check exercise 7.2 range